Hey guys, it's uh, it's Josh here. Going to do another video this time on. I should have adjusted this. How's that? On uh, medication. So I take Humira. It's uh, injectable. I keep it in the fridge here. I have a bunch on hand actually. Basically comes in something like this. It's called boxes in here. There's in this. There's two boxes, and that will have four pens in it. Hopefully, the lighting over here isn't too bad. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up. So in this box, right, it's not even open yet. I thought this was partially open. So I get two boxes sent to me. Looks like that. And then within that are pens like this. And they also come in like a syringe, um, which looks more like, like a preload syringe, which looks like Like this, but preloaded, where you you know take the cap off and and then inject it by pushing the plunger down. Personally, I like this way because it's quick, it's super easy, it goes in at the right speed, at the right force. Like you just you can't mess it up with this pen. Um, I also take methotrexate with that, and I'll talk about methotrexate too. And that looks like this. They come in, let me see if this will focus. A little bottle like this, and that's two milliliters, and I take half a milliliter. I'm not sure what the concentration is. 25 milligrams per milliliter, so I take 12 and a half milligrams every week, and then I take this pen, this Humira pen, every two weeks. So. I'll talk briefly about my experience with both. Humira uh, is basically really expensive. If you don't already know that, I think without coverage, it costs $4,000 a month US. Uh, you multiply that out for a year, it means tens of thousands of dollars to be on it for a year. This is an extremely expensive pen I'm holding right here, and I have four of them on hand uh, that I just showed you. You inject it sub-Q, so I usually sit basically right here, pick up my shirt, and then basically on either side of my belly button, I do one, and then on the other side, I do the uh, methotrexate. So I do Humira, then methotrexate. If I'm just doing methotrexate, then I just do wherever I feel like doing it. Um, generally, the soreness goes away within a couple of days, so by the time you do it next week, um, you kind of forgot even where you did it, on what side you did it on. So it's not so bad. The side effects of this, um, not too many other than it really, really hurts. And in the US, they have a version called Citrate Free. In Canada, it's not approved yet, so I'm still using this stuff. And Citrate is basically, I don't know what it is, but it hurts when you inject. And the Citrate Free version doesn't hurt. So when you inject this, it it kind of feels like someone just held a lighter up to you. Like, you know when you, you know when the, high school bad kids used to like take those lighters, heat them up and then stick them into the seats and kind of like brand the seats in the school bus. Remember that? And you see all these lighter marks. I don't know. I, whenever I like inject with this, that's what it kind of like feels like if you were the seat and you just kind of like got branded with a lighter or something, it's, it hurts. And it goes away like within two, three minutes, like s slowly goes away. And by 10 minutes, you know, it's pretty mild. But initially, it hurts pretty quickly. Like as soon, it's not even done going in, and it hurts. But this stuff makes you feel great. I mean, it it say it put me into remission. Um, I still take it, even though I don't believe I still need to take it. Now, on the other hand, I have methotrexate, which I just showed, and then I use these insulin needles. Really simple. Side effects of methotrexate are basically for me is nausea. Nausea is the biggest one. Nothing really bothers me. Um, there's no pain. It's just it's just nauseousness. So and that takes time to kick in. Like anything you take sub Q, you know, when you're taking, for example, when I have surgeries, when I take uh, like I get gravel sub Q. I think the nurse said 
it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to kick in. I think that's what she said. It, it's less than like 45 minutes, but it doesn't happen right away. And so if you take it sub Q and then go to bed, you know, say you do it right before bed like I do, I do it this time of night, I go to bed, basically I'm asleep by the time the nausea kicks in. So if you do it before bed, that's an easy way to avoid the nausea. Um, methotrexate is a generic, so it's like really cheap. I get basically, so this I get covered 80%. Um, the rates are a little bit, the price of this is a little bit cheaper in Canada. I pay like 400 and something Canadian dollars per month for two pens. And the generic drug, the methotrexate is 100% covered. Although if it wasn't covered, I think it would be like, if I had to guess like 30 bucks a month or something, maybe even less, it's, it's super affordable. And that's my experience taking uh, methotrexate and Humira. So I'm gonna try to keep these videos relatively short going forward. If you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll answer them in a future video.